Hi, everyone, and welcome to Smart Culture Education. This is the place where we make learning simple, clear, and engaging. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you can join us on this journey of mastering maths, science, and more. In this experiment, we are going to demonstrate and verify Charles' law. Charles' law states that for a fixed amount of gas at constant pressure, the volume of the gas is directly proportional to its temperature in Kelvin. In simple terms, when a gas is heated, its volume increases, and when it's cooled, its volume decreases. So I'm starting with a volume of 10 milliliters or 10 cubic centimeters of air in a syringe. I've sealed the opening with Prestec, which acts as a putty to make it a closed system. No air can enter or leave. Here I have two beakers, one filled with hot water from a kettle and the other one is filled with cold water and ice. I'm now holding the syringe with its opening facing downwards in the hot water for about a minute. When we look at the syringe afterwards, you will see that the volume has increased to approximately 12 cubic centimeters. If you keep it in the hot water for longer, you can expect an even larger increase in volume. This happens because heating the gas increases the kinetic energy of the air particles. So the particles move faster and faster and faster and they spread further apart, which increases the gas volume. Now I'm placing the same syringe into the cold icy water and I'll hold it there for about a minute. While I wait, let's see what happens when I place a balloon into the hot water or a piece of latex glove acting as a balloon. You'll notice that the balloon expands and grows in size. This is due to the same principle. As the temperature increases, the air molecules inside move faster and occupy more space, causing the balloon to expand. Now let's return to the syringe and the cold water. As the air inside cools down, the plunger moves slightly inward and the volume decreases by about one cubic centimeter. This shows that cooling causes a reduction in the kinetic energy of the particles, making them move closer together and the gas contracts. What I'll do next is I'll place the syringe in the fridge for about an hour or two. After around 90 minutes, the volume has dropped to just under 8 cubic centimeters. At this lower temperature, the air molecules have very little kinetic energy and move much, much slower. So the volume of the gas decreases even more. This experiment clearly demonstrates Charles' law. As the temperature of a gas increases, its volume increases. And as the temperature decreases, its volume decreases. The relationship between temperature and volume is directly proportional. When one goes up, the other goes up. When one goes down, the other goes down. Thank you for watching today's video on Smart Culture Education. 
If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to stay updated, tap the notification bell so you never miss our next lesson. See you in the next video.